for those of you who do not know me, my name is Ariel Nicole and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today what we'll be doing is going over a little Q&A questions, 21 questions. Are you, you mad because I'm at you 21 questions? Are you um, of getting to know me better. I have been on YouTube for some time now. I used to make videos back in 2009. I was in high school during that time. I deleted all of those videos because they are... <laughs> So childish, uh, but yes, I have never formally introduced myself, so that's what we'll be going over today. 21 questions of getting to know moi. And I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy. Okay, so number one to my Q&A is, what is your name? Okay, my name is Ariel, A-R-I-E-L. My middle name is Nicole, N-I-C-H-O-L-E. I was actually named after The Little Mermaid. My mom stated that she loved that movie, she used to watch it all the time. And she was like, let me name my daughter Ariel. And that's where I got my name from, The Little Mermaid. I'm not quite sure where she got my middle name from, but she wanted to be different with the spelling and put an H in it. And I mean, there are a lot of H's out there, I realize, but I don't know. I'm not sure where she got my middle name from, but I love my name. It's very unique in a way. Question number two, when is your birthday? My birthday is January 3rd. My mom was trying to push me out on January 1st. I was being very stubborn. She wanted to get those New Year gifts. And I was like, no, mom, you're going to wait. You're going to wait. You better be patient. Be patient. And I was just so stubborn. I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck. The doctor was letting her know that the baby, which is me, was under distress. And she just had, she was like, no. He was like, you're going to have to get a C-section. And she was like, no, sir. I'm going to push this baby out. So she just pushed me out. And here I am, born on January 3rd. Um, where are you from? Question number three. I am from Houston. Just, Just met a girl, girl so she's she from the A town. town. I, I said my name is Drizzy, and ain't nobody real. Um, yes, I was born and raised in Houston, Texas, and I love my city. I don't see myself really anywhere else. I would travel the world, yes, but I, I have plans and goals of remaining in Houston. Question number four, what are your plans, dreams, and goals in life? Okay, so growing up as a child, I always wanted to be an actress and singer. My sister would make these recordings of me singing. They are so embarrassing. I wish I still had them to show you all. I probably do on a recording somewhere. I'll probably put it out there one day. Probably not, because they are very embarrassing. And I just thought I could sing. Like, I thought I was Charlie Baltimore, too. I was rapping in these videos. And I was like, I'm going to be the next rapper, but... No, 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 no. And it, eventually during my high school years, I wanted to be in the medical field. That is something I still see myself doing. I want to help people. I want to be a part of the cure and um, coming up with a remedy to eliminate cancer. And I see myself helping people and caring for people. And that's something I've always saw myself doing. Question number five. What do you like to do during your spare time? During my spare time, I like to read, I like to go shopping, I have a closet full of shoes. I probably wear one pair out of all the shoes that I do have, but I just like to collect shoes, let's just say that. Um, I also like to hang with my friends and I love family time. I am a family oriented person. I grew up with a big family. I have three sisters and three brothers. And that's just something I see myself having in the future as well. A lot of kids. Um, question number six. What type of music do you listen to? I listen to rap, R&B, hip hop, pop. I listen to gospel. I do not discriminate in my music. Whatever is I like, I like. If, 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 if it's on the radio and I like it, I will play it and put it on my phone and eventually until I wear it out. Number seven, who are your favorite artists? My top favorite artists are, number one, Chris Brown, I love his music. Number two, Janae Akiao, she is one of the best singers out there, you go girl. And number three, Drake, I love Drake music too. Favorite artists, they all need to work together, all three of them, one song together. Number eight, can you tell a story that makes you laugh every time you think of it? 
I have plenty of stories to tell y'all. I am a very goofy person. I have friends who are very goofy. One story is when um, during my high school years, my friend Kanisha and I were at lunch break. And we were like, let's go see our favorite teacher during lunch break. He was one of the coaches and he was very cool, very nice coach. And we used to run track, so we would just go, we had his help class and we would go visit him from time to time. And this particular day, he wasn't there. So we were, as we were walking to his class, we walked inside and we were looking and there was a man sitting there on, in his chair. I guess it was a substitute teacher. And so I was like, let's sneak inside. And so as we were sneaking inside the classroom, Kanisha decides to bang really hard on our wall. This girl said, boom, boom. And I was like, oh shit, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. We ran out of that classroom so fast. Like I did not expect her to do that. Well, I over here talking about let's get out of here. She already ran out. While the substitute right there, sleep. He was asleep about it, girl. I just, I can't believe she did that. I was like laughing so hard. Like I have so many stories to tell. This girl is so fun to hang around. She's goofy and yeah, we have so many stories to tell from our childhood. Number nine, what was your favorite game as a child? As a child growing up, my favorite game was The Sims. I would tell my parents, uh, can I get the Sims for me for Christmas? And they would get this game not knowing that the Sims is really an, a game for adults. It is not a child game. It is not a game for children to be playing. They didn't know. They didn't look it up. They just went and they got my Christmas present. And I'm over here making the families, the parents do things, you know, what adults do as a child. And I'm just like, now that I think about it, I should not have been playing that game. <laughs> Number 10, what is your favorite food? Um, My favorite food, I love Mexican food. I love quesadillas, those, oh my gosh. I could eat those anywhere. Um, I love Mexican food. Mexican food has just that mm, very scrumptious taste to it. It's something I never see myself um, shying away from. I love me some Mexican food and for, during my brunches, like I, I usually do brunch with my girls and everything. I always get an egg benedict. I will never, I will never stop eating egg benedicts to my friends who are always saying, Ariel, is that all you're gonna get is an egg benedict? Everywhere I go, a restaurant has egg benedicts for brunch. Your girl is getting her an egg benedict. Yes, I am. Number 11. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? What makes me happy? Um, what makes me happy is seeing everyone around me happy. I love to see people happy. I don't want to see anybody depressed. Like, no, life is too short. Live it to your fullest potential. You, it, we all must, it's very important to be happy because walking around and being sad causes diseases and depression and sicknesses. I don't want to see people sick. I want to see everybody happy. Keep a smile on your face. Do things that get you out of the house. Do positive things like meditation and oh, just do what makes you happy. Like, don't ever let anyone take your happiness away from you. That's what I love. I love to see everyone happy. That's what makes me happy. Number 12, what are your pet peeves? Oh my gosh, my pet peeves. I do not like when people pick on their toes. Do not do that, that is so freaking gross. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like picking of the toes. I don't like smacking in my ear and I do not like when someone ignores me. Like, those are the worst. I, I will have a whole dramatic fit. Those are my pet peeves. <laughs> Number 13, what past mistake do you regret most? They say, there's a saying out there like, do not regret anything in life, they're life lessons. Yes, they are life lessons, but I do regret things. I do regret some of the men who I have given my time to, those men who I've dated and put my money into, like buying birthday gifts for and Christmas gifts and just, you know, I, I really, really do regret that because they're a waste of my time. I don't give a damn. 
and I regret dating men who waste my time. My time is precious. Number 14, what's on your bucket list? Um, what's on my bucket list? I would say probably skydiving. It was something I planned last year when I saw my sister do it. I was like, hmm, it seems very frightening, but it's something I would want to try. Yeah, I don't know. I just, skydiving is just something I want to try and I'm not going to do it again after I try it. Uh, number 15, which life would you choose? A rich life or a happy, fulfilling life? Um, I just spoke on happiness. Of course, I would go with a happy life over a rich life. A rich life and money does not bring happiness. But happiness brings happiness. So I would see myself being happy over rich. Number 16, what is a relationship deal breaker? I would say a relationship deal breaker is someone who's selfish. I am a very selfless person and I want to be with someone who's equally yoked, who's giving and caring. A relationship deal breaker would be someone who's not giving. If I'm sharing and giving, I would like for you to share and give. I want us to both give 100, 100 and you know, both be loving and caring and respectful to one, one another. Selfishness is a no-no for me. I don't do that. Number 17, do you have any crushes on anyone? I have a major crush on someone. Yes, I do. I'm not going to put any names out there right now. But he knows who he is. I have a big crush on him. And hopefully he will be my husband. And I can make some beautiful babies with this man. Number 18, what motivates you to work hard? I would say my future motivates me to work hard. I see myself being great and successful in life. And I was born, my parents raised me and my siblings to work very hard in everything we do. Like we don't have ass, we are hard workers. And my parents' parents taught them to work hard and their parents' parents taught them to work hard. Yeah, my future. My future motivates me to work really hard. I want to see my children be able to go to school and college without having to depend on financial aid. I will give them everything that they need to be successful in life and yeah, my future. I would say my future. Number 19. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Okay, so if I could choose anything for a day, what would it be? It would probably be to spend time with family and friends and travel. Like, I want us all to be able to go to like California or Miami for a day. When I take trips, I usually take them for like three days max. I don't usually like to go for three days because I get homesick. But I, it would be really nice to take a, a, a day trip to like California or Miami or somewhere with a beautiful beach that I can go to and just come back home and relax after that. Get my wine and all that good stuff. Number 20, what is your favorite attribute about yourself? I would say my favorite attribute about myself would be my dimple. I have one dimple and uh, yeah, I was born with one dimple. I did research and I was like, are having dimples a birth defect? <laughs> I'm so crazy, but yes. People be like, hey dimples, but no, I have one dimple, so hey dimple. Singular, sorry y'all, it's not plural. One dimple, and I love it. Number 21, last but not least, number 21. What is your most embarrassing moment? I would say my most embarrassing moment, and I have many of those, was a time I was in middle school and my friends and I went to a party our friend was throwing and we didn't know that her older sister was having a high school party. So it was middle school mixed with high school and it was a bunch of high schoolers there, a bunch of cute boys too. When we were in middle school, we were like, oh yes, oh yes, honey. But um, it was this high schooler, she was dancing and she was like, okay, who's gonna compete against me? And so, uh, nobody volunteered, but tell me why I had to be, be the one who volunteered to go against this girl dancing. She was getting it too. So I'm going against her. My friends, they rooting me on, they hyping me up. Tell me why, why did I fall? I bust my butt, like I fell so hard. And she was like, yeah, and it was like, oh, like everybody was like, 
everybody was just like, ah, oh, they was laughing at me. I was so embarrassed. I eventually got up, hid in the corner. Not for the rest of the night though. Um, I eventually, you know, got around and started dancing with my friends and everything. And the next embarrassing moment was my brother walks in the party and he uh, he goes to my friend's mother. She, the parents were there too. And the mom had this speakerphone and she was calling people and letting them know that their rides were there. And tell me why I was the first one to leave the party. It was only nine o'clock and my parents, they didn't play that. They were, my mom was very strict with growing up and she didn't play that. She came and got me at nine o'clock on a dot. So her mom was on us, my friends, my, my, my brother comes in, he lets her, my friend's mom know that I'm here to get Ariel. Her mom gets on the speakerphone, turns off the music, and they're calling my name on the speakerphone. Ariel, Ariel, your your brother, your mom is here to get you. They're here. It's time for you to leave. Oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed, y'all. They, I mean, of course, the only people who knew my name were my friends, but the high schoolers they didn't know me. So what I did was like sneak out. I was like walking past people, but they didn't know I was leaving. I just heard like I. I I just had to sneak out of there. That was so embarrassing. I told my mom, I said, you embarrassed me. They said my name so loud over the speakerphone. Like that was just so embarrassing. But yeah, yeah, mm. the worst. So yes, I hope you all have gotten to know me a little better. I'm so sorry that I'm late on this introduction of me but i hope you all like and subscribe if you have any questions you know you can always feel free to leave them below and feel and subscribe go ahead and subscribe i have more video i plan to have more videos come out i want i would like to do more cooking more exercising um and if there's anything else you would like to see from me just let me know in the comments below bye darlings i will see you later